What does the um the what do they tell us to do now? So it says if necessary, multiply one or both half reactions by an integer to make the number of electrons gained in the reduction equal to the number lost in oxidation. So is that necessary here? Does that step make sense? We didn't think we needed oxidation either. Well, one of these is an oxidation and one of them is a reduction. We haven't figured out which is which because we haven't assigned the oxidation numbers. But one of these is an oxidation half reaction and one of these is a reduction. Let me explain a little bit more what this step means. What we want to do now is add these together to go back to the overall reaction. Maybe I should have specified more. We, we've been using the concept here of half reaction. This is the overall reaction. Now, we know that this reaction involves both oxidation and reduction. So if you write the oxidation by itself, that's an oxidation half reaction. And if you write the reduction by itself, that's a reduction half reaction. So one of these is the oxidation and one is the reduction. You can pretty much see that this must be the oxidation because this iodide is losing electrons. It's going from negative to neutral. You don't, you don't need to think about that, but this, this must be the oxidation. This is losing an electron. Well, you can see that from what we wrote down. It's losing these two electrons. And here somebody is gaining these um, six electrons. What we need to do now, though, is add these together to go back to the overall reaction. But when we add them, the electrons have to balance. And they wouldn't balance yet, because there's six electrons here and two electrons here. So that was what that step was saying. What do we have to do to make the electrons balance before we can add these? Yeah, we only multiply this by three. Sometimes you have to, you have to multiply both equations. But in this case, we only have to multiply this equation. So we'll say that we're multiplying this whole equation by three. What's the new equation that we get when we multiply by three? Good. It's always legal to multiply an equation by a number as long as you multiply everything by that number. So that's what that step meant in the textbook. Check to make sure there's the same number of electrons in both half reactions, and if there aren't, you can multiply one or both of the re half reactions to get the same number of electrons. Okay. What does the, the textbook say as our next step? Add the balance half reactions and include states of the matter. Good. What does that mean? It means that we just add these together. So let's start by writing down all the starting materials we're going to get. What's one of the starting materials we'll get when we add these together? Well, you just recopied the last thing, right? That's right. Well, let's go through that step by step. Yeah, and, two, and how many of those? One. And its state of matter is aqueous. Um, for, for, uh, to save time, usually we don't write the phases in the half reactions, but we have to write the phases in the overall reaction. All right, what's one of the other starting materials that we need to include? 14H plus. 14 H pluses. And what would their state be? 8. Yeah, those are dissolved in the solution. What else? 6 electrons. What else? Uh, 6 I minus. And the 6 I minuses, right? And that's it. Would that also be eight Oh, my mistake. Yeah. We don't put a state of matter on the electrons, but we have these. All right. And then what how about on the product side? <coughs> Two CR3 plus, plus aqueous H2O. Liquid. Plus three I two plus six electrons. Good. By the way, notice that the H2O would be a pure liquid. Um, and then we would have the I2, which is solid. That seems to be precipitating out. Wait. Did I make a mistake? Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Sorry. <laughs> so that's how we add these together. It's basically copying. Now, notice that you never really have to write the electrons here, though. Because now the electrons will cancel from both sides. There's six electrons on the left and six electrons on the right. So they and they, and they, so they, they cancel. And if we've, if we've done our work right, they'll always cancel. So you only need the electrons in the half reactions. You don't need the electrons in the overall reaction. So we could have left that out from the start. Because, uh, OK. Any other steps? Um. Check that atoms and charges are balanced. All right. Uh, well, that would be a good homework problem. You should go through this and make sure, for example, that there's, that's, that's actually a lot of work. You have to check that the number of chromiums on the left equals the number of chromiums on the right. Well, that is two on each side. 
you'd have to make sure that the oxygen's on the left to balance the oxygen's on the right. Seven oxygen's here, seven oxygen's here. So you have to go through every element and make sure they balance. And you'd have to then check all the charges and make sure they balance. Um, so let's see here. We have negative 2 and 14 is positive 12. Minus 6 is positive 6. So we've got a positive 6 on the left and easy to find a positive 6 on the right. So those balance. Now technically that's not necessary. If we did all the previous steps correctly, these have to balance. But because it's so easy to make mistakes, you should definitely double check at this point and make sure everything is balancing. And if they're not, you have to go back and see where you made a mistake earlier. Hopefully you've already double checked your work earlier and caught your mistakes er, um, sooner because it's easier to catch them earlier on. But it is good to make sure. So what do you have to make sure that balances? You have to make sure all the elements balance and all the charges balance. Uh, and if there's any superfluous species here, you can now cancel them. Sometimes, for example, you'll end up with waters on both the left and the right. And then you can cancel some of the waters or some of the protons. That didn't happen here because we only had one half reaction with waters. But sometimes some of the waters or protons would cancel. Did we go through all the steps? Did they mention anything yeah. else? OK, good. All right, well, um, you can see that's pretty complicated. So you, uh, at when you're first doing the problems, you have to just follow the steps in the book. But you might need to have that memorized for the test. You might ask your instructor if they expect to have that memorized. Does this seem like what your instructor was doing in class? Yeah. OK, well, you can see it's complicated. Any questions? Yeah, but you make so much more sense. You've you got to take your time with this. Yeah. All right, that's the key. Um, the step, the, um, you guys didn't have too much trouble with this, except for when we were balancing the charges. So we saw how we have to be careful interpreting the, the, all the different numbers here for that. Uh, OK, um, can I take a look at your book again? Yeah, Thanks. here's a basic one. Good, that might be a good thing right for us to go into. Oh, let's make sure we got the right answer. Uh, six iodides, 14 protons, Cr2, 3i2, 7 waters, 2 chromiums, by the way, um, there are other methods for balancing half reactions than the ones that we're using here, but it's probably best that we stick with the method in your textbook. I think that's what your instructor would do, so mm -hmm. um, we'll just stick with that. So. Um, remember that each of these protons is really a hydronium. Each of these protons is really a hydronium. Sometimes people would balance these with, their textbook also balances these with hydronium instead of protons. But um, you, usually in this course, you just use protons. I think, if, if your instructor use protons? Um, use okay, so we'll just stick with that. So we'll skip that section. Okay, so. So this is the first time we've dealt with the idea of a half reaction. If you have a redox overall reaction, there's both oxidation and reduction happening. And it's possible to separate those into two half reactions. The half reactions show the electrons that are moving. But note that the electrons never appear in the overall reaction, because they would cancel. 